<laughs> Alright, we're trying to go find our brothers and sisters. guys so we just got back in from having a great day in shore and I think our team ended up beating Simp and Zag or Simp and Price so I think we may Zach has a pretty good redfish you know he has a PB but I, you know if you look at you know we, we at least brought fish back I mean. <laughs> well we're gonna do a catch clean and cook video we're gonna show you how to clean them and how we cook them but um, we're gonna show you how that we caught a little sand trout and we also beat him in the trout division. They didn't specify what kind of trout, but we caught this little sand trout. We're gonna clean like any other fish, kind of start like cut them right there, and then you just work your way down, let get all those guts out of the way, get them the right there, flip them over. Sand trout, uh, real white meat, and pretty tasty. So we'll start by. Be careful and slow about getting their skin off because it's real fragile. There you go. And you cut this little belly off. There you go, there's the first little chunk of meat. Perfect. I think this is Brandon Clan's favorite fish to clean, actually. <laughs> no, if you want to be on Brandon Clan's good side, don't bring these guys in to clean. Connor can tell you that. <laughs> no, but they actually are really good to eat, but it is a pain to clean sometimes because they're a lot softer than a regular trail. You can already tell how I got some of those fins on that one. That's my brand new plantain. Really did decent, decent. Let's see if we can get the skin off. Alright, now we're moving on to the red fish. Alright, with the smallest guy first. Red fish got real thick scales on them, so it can be a little bit of pain to clean, but they're very tasty. run down at the back right here. It's always good to trace out where you're about to cut before you actually make one cut because of how their scales are a lot thicker. And really redfish, you want to try to get the most meat you can off them because you just want to make the guy, just make the best out of the guy. Taking and start working way down the rib cage and the backbone. That way you get all the meat you can off them. Sometimes people will decide to cut the backbone out with them like I did with that trout. Or you can kind of skip it. I'll show you what I mean by doing that. Taking this kind of running knife over top of the rib cage. And you kind of can just jump over that way you don't doll your knife up to you. Just like that. See how I, I jumped over the rib cage right here that way you don't have to fight it because these bones right here you gotta really cut them to get them off that's pretty good right there we're gonna take them 
lay the meat off. Cool thing about red is you can either leave them with the skin on them or take the skin off and cook them. Like they call it the half shell whenever you leave the skin on. It's real slimy. Let's go. Pretty good meat. He's got a little bit of a backbone and we'll take that out before we cut him down. Just a little stuff off right there. One backbone right here we'll take out. I'm always real careful about making sure I get all the bones out because usually when you're eating fish and you get one bone, it just makes you not want to eat fish anymore. So there's a good, nice piece of filet right there. Tasty for lunch. Start by cutting it like that, and we'll go back down. The Backbone again. There he is. So that's how you clean a good old redfish and a good old sand trout. And we're going to clean up the other two for lunch, and we'll show you how to cook them here in a second, so. Now stay tuned for a good recipe, and that way, you know, whenever you do go on a charter with either me, Connor, or any of the guys, um, you'll be able to kind of know how to cook your catch and make the best out of them. So we're gonna show you a little recipe of what we decided to do this afternoon, but I think the boys are excited to actually eat some fresh fish, so stay tuned. Hi everyone. We're we're here. We're at Zach's house. Zach didn't stay to eat fish, but it is what it is. He cooked fish last time, but I guess he just didn't. I don't know. But we're here, and we got our red fish. And what I'm doing is I'm taking them out of the bag, and what I'm doing is I'm rinsing them off, and then I'll take them onto the cutting board, and I'll check to see if there's any more bones or there's just to prep the fish. And what I'm doing is, I'm taking this Old Bay seasoning first, the blackening season. And you just want to make a little light coat on the whole fish. Get it in there, and then you can kind of space it out if you got any clumped up anywhere. And then what we're also putting on is some seasoned salt. I give it extra little flair. 
and then we'll do the same to the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm patting down the fish too, that way it's not moist. And whenever you dry a fish like that, it'll hold the seasoning a lot better too. So, go with the Old Bay first. to the seasoned salt. All right, now check this out. I got two already prepared over here. And what I did is I got the pan ready and I put some oil in there to keep the fish from sticking. And I got it on a medium um, heat. So we're gonna drop this guy in there. And we'll turn it up just a little bit. It needs to be to about medium high heat. We'll drop in another one. Yeah. I don't know what you got going on. I got me some some rice sides, chicken flavor. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good, good with fish. A little nuggets in there. I'm gonna start prepping more fish, and we're gonna let those cook up. And you know. I guess we'll just have to send Zach pictures this time. Yeah, I really, I really <laughs> wish Zach was here with us. That those honey fish that we did was amazing. Yeah, really. Those tacos. Hey, I'm in it this time. These, these are the guys that caught us the mahi. <laughs> <laughs> these are the guys that caught the redfish. <laughs> these are the these are the guys that also ate the mahi. You know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> hey, well, we gotta eat the redfish. <laughs> Got a little jambalaya special with some noodles. Just stirred it up a little bit just to give us a little bit of um, some more food to eat, but it smells delicious. <sighs> Literally one of a kind. He just made this recipe and it smells really good. What did you do, Corn? So I took this ready pasta, fully cooked already, and it says you put it in a pan or in a skillet. And I put it in there and I put olive oil in there. Put some garlic. Oh yeah, it makes your bread smell really good. And then I put this onion salt. That's the key right there. Oh Every my god. Time. Hold on, someone's gonna take over for me. Forgot how to zoom in again. Yeah. You want me to call him? I'll call him. When are you gonna call him? I don't know. Whenever I get done with this video, I'll call him. Just for you. You promise? I promise. Think you promise? Okay, man. Oh.